Hey, Janie. I see you are in the middle of a purchase order, helping a customer on the phone, and are trying to eat your lunch. Would you mind if I run outside quick for a 25 minute smoke break? Of course, Nellie. It has only been an hour since your last break, and I can see you must be exhausted from all your sexual exploits in parking lots. I will come immediately. Great. Thanks for heating up the spaghettios for me like I asked you to. I am going to leave them rotting under the counter until you can't stand the smell anymore. Awesome, Nelly. I want to scrub that out for you until my arms are sore. Have a great break. Is Tony coming to meet you for your break at one? Yes, he is. I will have time to return a phone call about softball, have sex with Tony in the right aid parking lot, grab a pack of smokes and also eat half a donut and place the rest in my drawer for safekeeping over the next few months. That is great. I will be happy to do your job for you while you come in late every day, take off for an entire week for the sniffles, and misspell words. It is nice of you to say that, I know you have nothing better to do with your time at work besides pick up my slack, correct? I love having seven days worth of work piled up during our busiest time of the season. Nothing is more important to me than making you look good while my own work sits untouched. Now that I am back you can spend your time covering my breaks and lunch hour. You don't mind this pile of junk that is all over the counter and floor in the store, do you? Of course not. I love tripping over it and it looks great for the customers to see this mess, too. By the way, did you see that Dot got all of the wood borders done? Oh, well. She didn't have all of them printed out this morning, so I printed them all out for her and mixed them up. Did you see the way I ran around getting them all done for her? Yes, it was so nice of you Nelly. It hardly matters that half of the orders you packed are incorrect. As long as you get them done, that's great. Now, I am off for that smoke break. Cigarettes always make me poop, so I will have to run in and poop, then go back out. It won't take me any longer though. I am always able to finish everything at hyper speed, no problem. I am happy to stand here for as long as you may need me. Don't forget to wear a condom. Oh, Janie. I never wear those because ain't nobody got time for that. It has been two weeks since I had sex last. I never go that long, so I am so horny. Great. You will have to tell me what you did last night before you go. I just stopped at the VFW and had five drinks with my sister, then Amy called so I had two glasses of wine with her. I drove all around with kids in my car and checked out what my ex-boyfriends were doing and then filed a fake rape charge, all in a day's work. I have been standing here for about 30 minutes talking to you, and now it is time for your lunch break, great. I can just put my 15 and lunch together and probably have sex with two different guys in that amount of time. Did you see that roofer? He's kind of hot. Yes, Nelly. You don't reek of alcohol and you look awesome so I bet he will be interested. I know. The plumber isn't bad either. See you in a few. Change who is talking by adding a new text box using the plus button.